Hi everybody, it's Karen. Yeah, you guessed it. It's the iPad app, Design Space iPad app. It's still in beta testing mode, but we're allowed to show you videos and images of what it looks like now. So let me just make sure that everything is in the screen here. And I'm gonna start showing you what's so cool about this. Okay, so I'm gonna go first to images. I'll tap search. And that's how quickly it finds boats for you. Okay, so I'm gonna, uh, let's see which one am I gonna choose. I'm gonna choose one with layers. Tap on it and then insert onto my screen. And once you tap it, you're gonna find that you have four, whoops, four bounding buttons. Oh, I forgot the name for the four icons that you can use to change the size, to rotate. See how responsive it is? I mean, there's no lag, and did you notice that line? That's an alignment line. I'm gonna show you more about that in a second. Okay, and you can also tap right here to delete. So I'm gonna bring that back in. Again, look how responsive, it's, it's instantaneous. It's beautiful. It shows you the, the dimensions as you're dragging it. You can lock and unlock you can I already showed you rotating okay so from there I'm going to show you that all the actions are available to you down here at the bottom of the screen including group ungroup attach detach weld slice flatten unflatten arrange duplicate and isolate letters you also have the edit button lets you change the width and the height you can rotate you can flip horizontally or vertically and you can move the position you can sync right over here your colors so if you want it to move one color up to another you just move it and they all become blue you could move this up here very easy to do you just drag and drop things so of course now my boat is all beige and blue so I'm gonna undo that you have undo buttons too nice and handy or I could redo or undo I can check out my layers, see what's over here. It's this arrow on the right, and you can change your color. Look how you can change your color. You just move around. You can change to writing, and you can choose the color. You can score. You can print. That would be for print and cut. And colors also are down over here. So, so easy to do. So let's go back out of layers and out of edit. And I'm going to ungroup. Oops, so we do need to go into actions. I'm ungrouping this. And so now I can pull apart my shapes. Watch what's happening as I'm moving things around. This is this done the same way as Adobe software. Those are alignment lines. Tells you when you're aligned to the bottom of something, to the top of something, or to the right and left edges. So those are fantastic. You can align perfectly now. Text feature. This is going to blow you away. Look how quickly and how responsive this is. And if I want to change my text, Go back to the text function here and you can choose your font over here, your style, alignment, the size, letter spacing, line spacing, width, height. You can rotate and you can flip and you can change the position. Type it in again and I'm going to go to my fonts. Did you see how quickly that came up? This is why I say you're not even going to want to use it online anymore. You're just going to want to use it on your iPad app. Okay, so that was a Cricut font. If you want to look at system fonts, there they are, to here, so that you can see when the font changes. Is that quick or what? And if you want to see all of the fonts, then you just tap that. Cricut alphabet. No, I changed my mind. I want... Let's see, what do I want? I want this one. 
this is instantaneous this is incredible this is beautiful okay so now there are my two words I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see and now I want to write a line sorry I want to left align my text there we go I want to right align my text whoops there we go I want to center my text with the one on the top there we go let's draw a box I'm gonna go back to my images tap the X to get rid of that and I'm just gonna look for a box actually I'm not gonna look for a box I'm gonna look for a square search and here's a square insert that on my mat and now let's make this a larger box because just imagine I want to cut the box with the text centered so I'm going to go to my actions I'm going to arrange and I'm going to move the square to the back I'm going to move it to the back and so now my text is on top so now I can move my box and make sure that it's centered see how that works and you can center it this way too so if you change the size so now to center it again just go to there until you have the line in the center just works wonderfully